Hello, welcome to example one of the Sidekick Basic Kit for TI Launchpad. You can find the examples and documentation at energia.nu slash sidekick. In example one, we're going to start using the breadboard to make electric circuits. For this circuit, we will need the RGB LED, four jumper wires, optional four 330 ohm resistors, the breadboard booster pack, and a TI Launchpad. Place your launch pad on the top or bottom of the breadboard booster pack. Now insert your breadboard booster pack into the breadboard along the middle spine. You can use either the 20 pin or 40 pin headers. All the example circuits utilize the first 20 pins, which gives us more space to work with on the breadboard. If you need additional inputs and outputs from the launch pad, you can use the 40 pins. If you need to remove the booster pack from the breadboard, use a rocking motion to easily free it. Do not pull directly on the booster pack or you may damage it. The RGB LED has four legs of varying lengths. The longest leg should be connected to VCC. The leg next to it with the edge is our red signal and should be connected to a PWM pin. We will use pin 19. The leg on the inside is our green signal and should be hooked up to another PWM pin. This will vary depending on the launch pad you have. Refer to the pin maps found on the Energia website to confirm the correct pins. The last leg on the outside edge is our blue signal and should be hooked up to another PWM capable pin. Use the included jumper wires to make the connections. When using LEDs, it is good practice to have a resistor in between your processor pin and the LED as it is possible to burn out your pins with too much current. With these low power LEDs, that is not an issue, so using the resistors is optional. Now let's get started with the software. First, plug your launch pad to your computer over USB. Now open up example 1 from the Sidekick code examples. This code will fade the RGB LED using a concept called pulse width modulation. You can learn more about the concepts in this circuit online under the example page. And that's it. Now you can flash your launch pad with the upload button. You should see the LED blink red, green, and blue, and then fade between the colors. If it's not, try hitting the reset button and then go through the troubleshooting tips online under the example page. There are many more example circuits available with the Sidekick. Check out the Energia tutorials and refer to the Energia website for documentation and project ideas. Good luck!